Well, just hit. My cost of Plex, thanks for the 44 months. These are decent cards. I think I'm happy with Cold Snap. Definitely decent cards. The chat get bigger. Not deliberately. But who knows what's happening, really. Could be just about anything. Might kill this turn. If I can kill next turn, I actually don't play Apotheosis this fight. Does it matter? 16 puts it at 6. I guess this one deals more damage, but they're both ultimately the same. So I'm never not going to draw 12 damage next turn. Fear Potion's cool. Reinforced Body's okay. It's just kind of hard to take cards that aren't Apotheosis. You know? Reinforced body isn't as important when you have a bunch of defend pluses, but I don't have a bunch of defend pluses unless I draw my apotheosis. Hmm. 26 lands. Maybe hence hello, he's Steve. Hey, Nair, no snaws. Everybody, Kai Kai. River Blade Hollow. Dr. Quandry. I could also take Overclock. I gotta stick a reinforced body. Keeps me alive while I draw toward Apotheosis, I guess. I want to remove a strike and a defend. I have fairly defensive cards set up here. Apotheosis and Fear Potion are good damage, though, so I don't mind removing a strike first, I don't think. Feels weird to add a Cold Snap and Reinforce Body and then remove a strike. I don't play Apotheosis here, right? So the reason to play Apotheosis is that half the time I take a zero. But half the time I take six. No. Five. I take zero half the time and five half the time. Or I play dual cast strike defend. And I take one or two. Seems better. Took the maximum. Two unpassed waters. Two fear potions. Have I learned how to play Slay the Spire? I think I'm getting there. I just feel kind of like I'm getting there. I think it's okay to take four here. Do I? Do I think it's okay to take four here? It isn't zero damage. Kinda hate this act. Am I getting out of this fight without taking more than four? I go strike reinforced body. Seems difficult. I think it's worth it. Same rending the eight months. I 
This is probably defend Cold Snap. I always get attacked for 8 next turn, right? Let me make 100% certain that's how this AI works. I'm pretty sure it is. Can't use stab three times in a row. Yeah, I always get attacked for eight next turn. Thing is, if I don't draw a defend in three cards, it's pretty bad. Full cast also works. Definitely this. The question is, do I want to take one to have two extra block next turn? Nah. Unnecessary. Have I ever rolled a D9? Maybe? I've rolled some strangely shaped dice in my day. Interesting. That's pretty good with Apotheosis, yeah. Seems like it would be. Suddenly feeling better about this act. Let's skill pot next turn. I've definitely rolled a d3. d3 is very weird. Like I'm healing in this fight. I did use a potion though. Odd mushrooms, pretty useful against like Gremlin Knob, for example. I need more damage on my deck. I'm taking this genetic algorithm. I need more damage though. Can't rely on uh one fear potion for everything in the entire game. Damage? It's kind of like damage. Best way to support me, the stream, sub donation, ordering my book. Really, I think it's whatever you want to do. I know that's kind of a cop-out answer, but... Oh. If you're talking about, like, how to make the most money and through my pocket possible... Me. Probably a direct donation. I guess I'd rather play self repair than genetic algorithm because genetic algorithm actually can block for one. Uh, likely if I draw later. No weird. I've had a slime added to my deck. Alright. 
This looks good. I'm still at 48. It's a scary fight, so getting out of it with 48 health, I'm quite happy about. Swift potion seems great. I really want the recycle. I really want the recycle, but it so clearly does not kill Grandma Knob. <laughs> Could take a rebound for Grandma Knob. Hey, Onion Knight. I just have to use both potions for Grandma Knob fight, basically. I don't think I can take recycle right now. I don't think I have to take rebound though. But I'm like close to having to take rebound. I'm closer to having to take rebound than I am to getting to take recycle, I think. Seven deadly things, sin, thanks for 25 months. You missed two years. Oops. Oops. I could also go this way. I think I can survive this thing. I think my potions are good enough. I kind of want to take rebound. I kind of want to take rebound. I'm going to take rebound, I think. It feels like it improves my Gremlin Love fight by like, I don't know, 10 HP or something. Do I actually care? I don't actually care, do I? I don't think I actually care. better if she started without basics. A lot better. Okay, really not a bad fight. I didn't get self-repair played, but that's like very acceptable. I also didn't get kinetic algorithm played. Also very acceptable. Bottled flame? No oh, way. Well, I didn't get anything this floor, and I used two potions and 16 health. So that kind of sucks. I'm wondering if I take Barrage. I do kind of need a damage card. I don't need your advice, chat. I'm gonna trust my brain over your brain here. Unique. I could take Streamline. Barrage just does more, right? Take a Barrage. I don't think this fight goes long enough for me to try to play genetic alg later. Nine plus eighteen, <laughs> one damage short. Gross. So the play then is cold snap barrage self repair, and I just don't get upgraded self repair, or it's um apotheosis cold snap self repair and we just wait a bit yeah i think I like that one is this thing going twice i get mad thanks for a ten dollar donation are you hearing that twice i'm hearing that twice why am i hearing that twice do you hear that twice hey merlin hmm 
Thanks for the 33 months, Wasque. Count of Bonlink Slaprime. A dot is beer pan based on this book, this song. I think I broke my streaming setup. I think my computer just needs a reset. It's fine. I'll do this. Could be worse stream. Somehow. Maybe I'll get a potion. Could be nice. Okay, but Dark Orb is damage. I'm scared. I'm scared. I've not gotten much stronger. Apotheosis turn one is good. Everyone's on 40. Kind of interesting. I got a dual cast next turn. That seems probably good. Oh, I don't get a dual cast next turn. It's fine, I get it the turn after. And I still get to kill you. And then it's sitting for 30. Okay. Get to play genetic algorithm later. And I get to save two health. I'd like to get self repair and play. I play that. What's it up? For genetic algorithm. Looking for genetic algorithm. Looking for genetic algorithm. My worst hand next turn takes zero. I guess I'm okay with that. So now not adding C11 months. Okay, I think I healed against sentries. And I got a whetstone. Incredible. Uh, multicast Dark Orb is something. I think I'm just taking another cool headed and upgrading it though. Get some card draw in this here deck. With Apotheosis, I shouldn't need to multicast Dark Orbs to win fights in Act 2. My relics. Yikes. Barrage already. Kills ones. I don't need to channel another orb. This is fun. the run going. It's going a bit better before this floor. Got everything. Genetic algorithm, apotheosis, self-repair. Focus pot's nice. 
These are some interesting cards. Ah, I think there are arguments for everything here. I think I'm gonna take Compile Driver though. Keep trying to draw Apotheosis as quickly as I can. With Zap and Dual Cast costing zero, card draws a bit better. This may be the first interesting moment in the run. I'll make a note of this spot, because um, there is a large difference between my options here. My streaming setup is so broken. Um, is this gonna work? This just isn't gonna work. Good grief. Okay. Okay, here we go. Floor 14, card award decision. Loop verse compile. Driver. First turbo. Three bond decision was interesting. I don't think it actually was. I think I was just afraid. I don't think it was right to take rebound there. Inverse compile driver back in very different directions. Turbo maybe best with pyramid or more card draw. I think generally, generally defect has enough availability of energy and cards, so you don't have to be taking a turbo here. We we'll get like a fission from the boss reward or a recycle or a turbo later if we need it. Or we'll just get a boss relic with energy on it. Metagame and... Are you a metagame Andy if you play the way that you've always played, but everybody else tries to copy you? Alright. Is it important for your name to be Andy? I guess I use this next turn. Is it short for Andrew or Andrew? I think it's just short for Andy. I don't know if I focus pot it's enough. If I hit zap it's enough. With barrage is it enough somehow? ATN plus 16? No. I think I have to distill chaos probably. Which means I have to think about whether I'm playing Apotheosis first or not. It's not actually super clear. It actually makes reinforced body block for less if I play Apotheosis, for example. It doesn't improve Zap or Cold Snap. It doesn't really improve self repair or genetic algorithm. It's sort of only for compile driver and defend. 
The compile driver is already enough without upgrading. I think I just distilled chaos now. Is an 18 plus 16 exactly enough? If it were, wouldn't I have to ban you? Why are you backseating me? <laughs> it's so like deflating. Let me make mistakes. <sighs> you had a run the other day where you took the most aggressive possible path in Act 1, the most conservative possible path in Act 2, made no major combat misplays, took every card that would possibly make you strong in Act 2, died 4 4 of Act 2. Do you just accept the loss in that kind of run, or do I think there's something to be learned there? Did you build a deck that could beat Act 2 Holy Fights? I think that, like, building a deck that beats the first half of Act 2 is very, very, very important in Slay the Spire. I think that the first half of Act 2 is, like, one of the main ways you lose the run. Well, I mean, that time the backseating was genuinely helpful, but, uh, I don't want that. <laughs> Because it's frustrating too, because like maybe I would have redone the math and worked that out, right? Or maybe I wouldn't have. I don't know. Took every card that would possibly make you stronger into early act two. Maybe we just don't count this run as a win toward the streak. I don't know. I could also like fail to make that play, but that seems unfair to me because there's a decent chance I would have double checked math and worked it out. Uh, it's certainly possible for the first half of Act 2 to kill you. I feel like it would have probably worked it out. Maybe. I don't know. Sometimes I don't. turmoil. <laughs> Jeez, chow. Weird spot. It's actually kind of weird. Save me from dying. Save the potion that I was going to use for sure. Am I still doing the thing where I look at interesting Slay the Spire spots? Yeah, I'm like collecting them and then I'll do something with them. It's my current plan. Hey, yeah, Grona. I wonder if I'm a dual cast or not this turn. A lot of damage, right? I kind of like getting the free turn next turn, though, at the cost of some damage. It does make a new Dark Orb on 12 to do this. Just kind of a real thing. Actually, I could just keep the Dark Orb. That's an interesting idea. I don't think I want to do that.
Goodbye, friend guardian. Echo form is real good with sulfur repair and genetic alk. Honestly, the genetic alk doesn't even matter anymore. Like, the fact that I have a genetic algorithm to help me put Echo Form in play is nice, I guess, but I don't really need to worry about it leveling up faster. Apotheosis is already doing enough. But yeah, I think just Echo Form with self repair makes sense. I swear I've had these exact relics before. I probably just have. It's common, common, and an event that you get often in Act 1. Probably just have. Do I have any prior beliefs about the stuff I'm tracking, like where the interesting spots are or types of mistakes? Uh, probably. There isn't really any reason for me to have strong prior beliefs about them, so... I think starting from a neutral prior is something that people struggle with. Like, people find out that you can have prior beliefs and then modify them using new information, but don't realize that you can also just have, like, a very neutral prior understanding of what's going on and use new information to modify that. If you put them in the Slay the Spire channel and hashtag, like, interesting spot or stream or something, I think stream was the hashtag I was using. Who is Baze anyway? The fission's real good there too. Is the reason that I waited. Fission is good enough to like be worth thinking about, I think. I'm gonna take Runic Pyramid. The stream with a thousand viewers, I can't expect chat not to comment. Literally can. Banned. Alright. Try commenting now. I'm not gonna I'll time you out for like 30. Having spent like hundreds or thousands perhaps of hours of my life like building a channel where people don't back me. <laughs> uh backseat me. I do think I have some reasonable expectation that people won't do that. Alright, anyway. Let's watch this clip. Is this clip good? Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. I don't want to be reminded of the bottled flame ceramic fish weak. There was seriously, there was seriously a week of Slay the Spire where I just got bottled flame and ceramic fish every single run. <laughs> that actually happened to me. <laughs> it's so obscene to think about. I feel like it, I feel like it happened like 10 times in 20 runs or something. <laughs> All right, let's go here. Could really use a turbo now. That was always going to happen, though. We were always going to end up wanting a turbo if we got Runic Pyramid. Get rid of this. I guess I just got rid of this. Raj is such a sweet card.
Why don't I play Compile Driver over Reinforced Body in turn one? Aww. Oh. Would I not have? It's a very specific question. Like, if we get to the end of the fight, you're going to see that I'm at full health, and... Yeah. I feel like that's as good as you can be at the end of this fight, so... Feels like my line's probably good. Fluffy Cow's pet. Oh. What drink do I order when I go to Red Lobster? I don't know if I've ever been to Red Lobster. Hmm. Doom and Gloom is AoE damage? That might be nice. Go for the ice is a zero cost card. That also might be nice. Hey, <laughs> Volta Burb. Uh, you're typing in my chat. So, you're currently awake enough to be typing in my chat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Went to Red Lobster with your late grandfather once. It was the only time you've ever been. Did they, like ban you from going to the restaurant after you brought in a coffin. <laughs> Is that tactless? <laughs> it might be tactless. I like to imagine it was a weekend at Bernie's sort of situation though. I'm gonna take that demon boom I think. It just seems too strong. In an act with like super elites and shit. By super elites, what I mean is slavers, by the way. That was very unclear. I mean slavers. <sighs> How bad is enlightenment here? Kinda bad. Ah. Mr. Waffle Truck, thanks for the two months. I'm sitting in a defect store which is offering me Aurary, and I'm genuinely considering not buying Aurary. And I'm pretty sure that just means that I'm terrible at the game. Yeah, pretty sure that just means I'm terrible at the game. All right, I should just click this button. It would be nice to have more energy. Snapper cool had it is actually kind of a choice here. <laughs> Self repair, sunder, consume. I think you can take any of these three as well. I shouldn't need another self-repair. Another genetic algorithm seems great though with echo form and apotheosis. It catches up very quickly. I'm currently at full health too. So I think this one's easy. This one I think might just be Sunder. Like having distilled chaos makes Sunder an easier pick. I 
Maybe I don't need this. Maybe I just don't take any of them. I'm thinking about buying the charge battery that's in the shop. Because, yeah, I agree that I need energy. Although, like, just buying bronze scales probably makes a lot more sense. Or card removing strike is probably okay too. Wish I could do both. Cornelius, thanks for the two years. I take this. I actually, I, I think that double self repair is good here. There's definitely been one defect run semi recently where double self repair won me act four after a bad start against the elites. And healing for 40 is like kind of a lot, right? Feels like kind of a lot. G bird. I think this shop is just generally interesting. There's just a lot going on this shop. Is that how you spell R? -E? That's got to be too many R's. That look. That looks wrong to you. This is actually like importance too, because I think I'm like very, very close to having won the run already. I love that like the only one I'm not taking is the one with the rare in it. Is that right? Is that right? With a focus pot, the capacitor is like pretty close to enough. I could take genetic elk card remove. Take master of strategy, but I think my hand fills up. So it's like charge battery, card remove, bronze scales, genetic algorithm are the things I'm looking at here. I could buy Sunder and Enlightenment. Oh my god. I could have taken the Sunder from the Aurary and bought a Sunder and taken Enlightenment. That's probably actually really strong. I don't think I was meant to, but it's. It would have led to some comically good turns. It does feel like card remove is very, very, very good here. I'm just gonna take card remove. Do I consider going back into the RE after I've left it to be cheating? There are actually places where that could, like with Ceramic Fish and Toxic Egg in the store or something, that could actually mechanically improve your ability to win the run, huh? I've never thought about that before. I've never really done it. Caramelage, thanks for the year! I appreciate it. Considering taking Static Discharge. Battery is sort of good, huh? Alright, don't judge me. Bought a charge battery over like a lot of very strong things. Just don't ask. Sort of an iffy floor.
Ooh, the common farm, eh? Holy shit. Turns out I don't have any money, so... That is fortunately not a problem. I would appreciate one bottled lightning. Is this an elite fight? It should be an elite fight. Why isn't this an elite fight? It's actually... <laughs> It's kind of interesting deciding what to do this turn. I might go Apotheosis, Genetic Elk, Self-Repair, go to 72. Could also go Self-Repair, Self-Repair, Genetic Elk, go to 76. Genetic Elk walks for one less. I mean, that's probably fine. It's all probably fine. Interesting question for you. The front one stole more gold, right? The front one stole five more gold. So was I meant to kill the front one there? I think I was. I think that's a mistake. I don't know if I've ever caught myself making a mistake in killing the wrong thief because it would get me more gold back, but I'm pretty sure that that just happened. I wonder how often I've made that mistake and just not caught it. Core Surge is excellent. Biased Cog becomes an immediate run win now. It's true that the back one had lower health. And that is why I killed it, but still, but still. Is Apotheosis strong? Could I have double played that? I might have been able to double play that. Ooh, I might have been able to double play that. It does feel like 23 is kind of like in the range where it's enough already. But I think I might have been able to double play it. I'm going to note it as a mistake that I didn't at least look to double play it. Fusion is energy. Fusion's also infinite stuff. With recycle.
fusion is a clean energy. Well, that just sounds like a good deal. Gotta decide if I'm going this way or this way. This way has more campfires. The campfires don't do that much because I have apotheosis, right? Card removes do a lot. One is how large a mistake I consider it to be. One to five. Five is mo more. Most. Lots. Easy done. Should be a fun trip. I'm looking forward to it. Alright, give me this ship. Yeah, thanks for 26 months. Appreciate it. What is PPR pre pre release? Wizards of the Coast does a um, I have a partnership with Loading Ready Run. Or Loading Ready Run. It's on a magic event the weekend before everybody else first gets to play with a new set, and I was invited to be a part of it. Should be a ton of fun. Dazes in the stock. Not sure it's actually advantageous to me to be double playing all my skills right now. This one is even more hype. Is that because I'm in it, or was there another reason? It's because I'm in it, right? Yeah, it's because I'm in it. <laughs> And it's Dominaria. Who is that? I've never heard of them. Good fight. Double played both genetic algorithms, left at full HP, didn't use a potion. No complaints. Keep getting offered charge batteries. I just like bought one for 50 gold, but I kind of don't feel like I need another. Especially with the fusion. Do I play EDH at all? I've played two games of EDH. In the first one, other people made the ducks that we played, and it was fun. In the second one, I made a blue red storm deck with the help of a friend, and I killed everyone at the table on turn 6 with 12 Crater Hearth Behemoths. Because, uh... Not entirely deliberate. <laughs> I'd never, like, goldfished the deck before. I wasn't expecting it to just kill everyone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it did. But it did. I think I played some of that first Dominaria. I'm tempted by the Echo Form upgrade here, unusually. I'm also tempted by the Fusion upgrade. 
I'm gonna go Echo Form. Because I'm genuinely bad at making fast energy here. Um. Why are you being so mean to me? <laughs> Presumably I have potions for this sort of situation. Just take ten. Next turn I can block with like something random and then the turn after I block with genetic algorithm and then I win. I think it's fine. is arguably what self-repair is for, yeah. Do I kill next turn? Maybe I kill next turn. Double play this now. Looks like I need to double charge battery. I can take longer to win as well. If I'm allowed to. I don't have to rush this because I get to double play genetic algorithm next turn. Double play self repair. All right, cool. Pretty decent fight. Did use a potion, but presumably that's what those are for. Data disc is obviously excellent. Buffer is quite good. I think I'm down for a buffer. I can immediately upgrade that too. I still want to upgrade. Um, fusion. But upgrading buffer to get me through the early turn seems good. Hey, Hash Brown, good to see ya. I don't think this deck needs a bag of marbles. The bird has legs this time.
What is my rotating PB? 16. Was core surge the reward from Act 1 boss? No. Echo form. Took Echo form from the Act 1 boss. That's true, I could have lied and said 69. I'm slacking. to double play both of those. percent sure. Yep. Sneko oil. Sneko oil is sort of scary. I don't think I need another fusion. It's unfortunate that this one is upgraded and the one I have isn't. But comes the beats, I guess. I'll take another cool headed though. I'm starting to get some energy in the deck now. Also I have nine orb slots if I draw my cards in the right order. Go kill a super elite slavers with 83 health, I think. Should be just about doable. Defrag over card remove. Revenant thinks the 14 months. Getting the double stack one time there. Worst things have happened to me in my life. He lead us a floor early. Oh, this is an MLE. The big babby. London character do I think is balanced the best? Uh, probably silent, maybe. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. It depends what you mean by balanced. I think that silent has the highest percentage of her turns that matter over the course of a run. So if that's what you mean by balanced, I think silent. But there are lots of other things you might mean. Who's a yo yo thinks of 28 months? Rankus thinks of 13 months. I need calipers. Just one calipers. Uh, 
I'm pretty happy with that turbo. That is not slavers. This is a really good turn one. Nice. Silent is best balanced because he does acrobatic. Okay. Maybe. LOL. What is this? even more broken than you are. I feel like a calipers drop here. It just feels like it'll happen. Anybody else ever get that feeling? Why shouldn't I get a calipers? Is using the secret allowed? Should should that be against the rules? Preserved insect. Uh, it's fine, I guess. I don't think Retain's strong enough to want Equilibrium with Runic Pyramid. Yes, Rob. Call. Well, what character is the most fair? Yeah, but it's like a single player game, so it doesn't really make sense. Like, fair to whom? Poor Surge is a touch late. Doesn't really matter. Look at these orbs.
This deck is unethical. Oh no. Not ethics. Ooh. I'm going to get arrested by the categorical imperative. Oh no. Oh no. I should probably take Seek. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take Seek. Um, this deck honestly wins with Buster Crown pretty comfortably, I think. You rust at him. I think it wins pretty easily with the other two as well. Not with Skip. Ah, uh, it probably wins with Skip. Definitely might win with Skip. Just chilling out for a bit. I kind of want to take Phylos down, but I'm pretty sure it's like the most likely way to lose the run. So I probably shouldn't click on it. My magic fish thinks that's seven months. Feels like a little bit more focus would be nice. But I could just go to shops. But I don't like have a lot of money. My relics are actually like bad slash non-existent, other than runic pyramid and data disc. What fights am I scared of if I was downside in? There's an enemy at the end of the game called the Corrupt Heart, and it attacks you 15 times in the same turn. It feels like 4 energy is so good. So is Recycle, though. I think that's, like, kind of interesting. I'm not sure it matters very much. But I think it's kind of interesting. I just figure that removing two is the thing that is most likely to get me genetic algorithm on the relevant turns against the heart and seek, right? So. Ooh. It's a jam. Okay. You're still most impressed when I know the names of the enemies. <laughs> Hard to know things. Surprisingly hard to know things. Is calipers a rare relic perchance?
It sure is. Pretty sure I knew that already. <laughs> Maybe I should get a question mark for Mind Bloom then, if a rare relic instantly wins me the game. Okay, just something I can give to Naloth for free. Naloth is only an act to you. I think we go to this shop. I don't know if I take three hallways, two hallways, or one hallway. <laughs> I have all the options here. Maybe I don't go this way because I don't want to be forced into the shop. But like, when would I ever not go to it? I don't know if this is a shop. But I can't get a shop in a question mark if I go this way. Do I have to worry about transient at all? Not really. Do I have to worry about writhing mouse? Kind of. Yeah, I might get a parasite. I think I'm just okay with that though. I just might get a parasite and we'll just have to live with that. I could go this way. This way gets me three elites though. Being able to choose between campfire and shop there is kind of good. Because there are some upgrades that are good and I might spend all my gold here. And obviously there's a forced shop in Act 4 so if I'm on like 75 gold I don't really want to go to a shop there. Seek is a good upgrade. Bottled apotheosis. Thank you. I agree. Calipers, one time, please. Speed sequence seems like fine. I don't really feel like I have to take it. It slows me down a lot, but it feels like I don't need to be that fast if I have boot sequence in my hand. Let's we play Echo Form sometimes. Interest in immortal empires? I don't know what that is. Is that the total Warhammer thing? I installed Total War Warhammer 3 and all the other ones. It was a 230 gigabyte download. Then I got to the main menu. Then I was like, yeah, I'll just stream Slay the Fire. <laughs> 
too much fucking work. The original song was the Iliad. Anybody who tells you that the original song was anything else just doesn't understand history. Just finished an interesting watch around in which you got double emissions plus from Astrolabe after Act 1. That's kind of cool. That's fun. Hey, Dr. Dreidel, will I sing the Iliad for you sometime? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't think this deck takes a skim. Does that mean I built it wrong? Probably. That probably means I built it wrong. Maybe it does take a skim. Are there turns that matter other than like turn 1, 2, and 3? Because Skim's kind of okay on those ones. Song of Achilles is good, yeah. I've always held the opinion that the Odyssey came first and the Iliad is a prequel. Well, they were just an epic cycle, they would have all been told at the same time. The Iliad definitely got written down first. I wish I took the other genetic algorithm. Imagine having a third card that blocked for 50 for one right now. Just trying to work out how I actually kill things. Like recycle might be an answer. Playing barrage enough times is probably an answer. Another focus card is probably an answer. More seeks might be an answer. Why was Pot of Greed banned and not Skim? Because Skim costs an energy, probably. But I mean, Skim is just Ancestral Recall, if you think about it. Which is, you know, arguably a good card in Magic the Gathering. Card draws a lot cheaper and slow the Spire, then. You have it on good authority that you are absolutely expected to read the Odyssey senior of high school and you absolutely did not. But, yeah. Yeah, you and everybody else. Imagine expecting someone to do something senior year of high school. Honestly embarrassing. cycle that the Iliad and Odyssey are from was seven stories. This is a thing that we know. But we only know the Iliad and the Odyssey and like bits and pieces from the other five. You know why? Because the HBO exec decided to just stop uh, having them on the platform. Fucking HBO. Will a hardcover in my book be available? I don't think there are currently plans for a hardcover. What do I know? I 
I saw someone saying that the HBO thing was because one of HBO's executives didn't like, ah, uh, gay shit, and some of the cartoons were gay, which is like, I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm willing to believe it's true, <laughs> because it wouldn't be the most absurd thing that I'd heard in the last couple of years. Cartoons are pretty gay. Our stories made with animated figures gay. What's the most absurd thing I've heard in the last couple of years? A lot of people have shared opinions that they have about medical science, which are not good. <laughs> just just not good opinions. Um, it's been pretty impressive. Professor Worm, that's cool. I already have these cards. Well, except Static Discharge. Static Discharge could be how I kill things. Should I do that? Definitely could. There's just like another card that gets in the way, kinda. Right now I kill things with Barrage mostly. Which like, Barrage deals a lot of damage. Don't get me wrong. Barrage is gonna hit for like 108 when I double play it. And then I'm gonna like liquid memories it and play it again. And then I'm gonna draw it again. So yeah, Roger's gonna deal a lot of damage. My favorite line in the rehearsal is when he tells is the woman's name Angela. He tells Angela that he googled the origins of Halloween and actually it was like a Celtic festival or something like that. <laughs> and, and she said, "Were you? You have to do a targeted search. Did you search for Halloween origins satanic?" <laughs> <laughs> otherwise you won't get it. <laughs> anyway, some of you have watched the rehearsal and also find this hilarious. Others of you have no idea what I'm talking about. Which is really too bad because it's very funny. Are we talking about the rehearsal? We've always been talking about the rehearsal. Buying another capacitor means I don't have to echo form the one I have. But I can just echo form it. This seems good. It's really not that weird. It's like... I don't know. It's a bit weird. Brandon Sanderson worked on an XCOM game that's coming soon. That's good. I'm glad that they're putting more work into everything except the game balance and mechanics. I don't think I was meant to do that. Chat, I don't think I was meant do that. 32. So it's fine to just grab this. I'm gonna note that as a mistake though. I think that seek on floor 40 was just like, I didn't 
think through what I was doing with it. I don't even know what I was planning to get, honestly. I think I was planning to get Doom and Goom Plus, which isn't in my deck, for starters, and also wouldn't have been good to get. <laughs> so... XCOM's like, the entire premise of XCOM is that it's um, emergent narrative that you work out on your own, right? Like, isn't it just the worst possible thing to write for? It doesn't make any sense. What do I know? Was the XCOM novel adaptation? Adaption? Adaption. Sure. You can definitely, like, it is an excellent environment for storytelling. You can definitely tell stories within the environment. But also, like, the game is letting your players tell stories in the environment. That's, like, what the game is. So it feels kind of weird to... Like, it feels like a misunderstanding about the game is. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I'm sure it'll be great. Who doesn't love Brandon Sanderson? Uh, I think I have like three successful Long War II campaigns. I think I did. I even have four. I might have one of each of the first four major patches. Strike dummy. Yeah. Chaos is kind of interesting. I don't think it's interesting enough. These Aaliyah fights have not given me relics. They just have objectively not given me relics. Sanderson, I don't think Sanderson's like trying to be the best fantasy ever. Just like lots of fun books, which is excellent. I enjoy lots of fun books. I say that now, but when I get Meteor Strike, hmm, when I get Meteor Strike, it's a good point. Blessing of the Forge. Double energy. Overclaw. Might take an upgraded overclock right now. I don't think I'm sold on the unupgraded one. I don't think I need a double energy either. I seem to be doing fine on energy. Nice to upgrade this seek. This 
This runs kind of a vibe now. Feels like I got the stuff I needed. Saw some interesting papers on getting AI to write coherent narratives the other day. That does seem like a difficult thing to get a, an AI to do. I wish we didn't call them AIs. It's such a misleading name. I don't know what you'd call them instead. I've heard Bias Automator. Which I think is an excellent name for them, but uh... I'm sure some people wouldn't enjoy being, like, working on bias automators. Call them IPAs. I like it. Feels like training all the AI on Wikipedia and Reddit comments instead of novels and books was a rough choice. I really like a point that I saw once about how internet from like 2012 is going to be kind of like metal from before people started testing nukes. Or like metal from after people started testing nukes have re has radioactive shit in it that weakens it. And Internet archives from after 2012 have procedurally generated trash in them, which ruined them. That was a cute point. I don't know. Kind of fun. Ara Kalkin. Space Usual thinks about 34 months. Is this a YouTuber? This will be 12 in a row, which is. I don't even know. I think I have a 16, a 15, a 13. Do I have a 12? I might have a 12 as well. Can't remember. I don't think I have a 12 rotating. I have no idea, honestly. This thing is interesting, it's actually only used in extremely sensitive radiation detectors. But the radiation from UST will generate noise. Makes sense. Yeah, I do hate it when my steel is noisy. right to be a little concerned about transient. Oh my god. That song transition. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. is a little bit light, but I'm still basically at full health. Oh, actually, I don't get to double play genetic algorithm because I double played buffer. That's a mistake! It's a mistake! It's like a one. It's not a large mistake. I thought I had one more turn. Like, I knew that I had to double play both of these, but I just thought I had one more turn to do it. 
Oops. It's okay. I think that 87 will probably be enough. Especially with artifact charge to block vulnerable. Lol. Lol. Okay, it can matter. It's hard for it to matter unless I get calipers, though. A loop? I'm down for a loop. Have I actually rated a mistake at two? Probably not. I don't even know what a two would be, honestly. with spinning top so far. I've probably only had spinning top once so far. That's probably why. Fuzzy. Maybe I'll just notice that, like it has fur or something. I don't know if it's just the lighting of the texture. It's like a tennis ball. Hmm. Agree. Like a tennis ball, yeah. If I lose the run because I went to a question mark and got minus four max HP, I will find that very funny. I think is what I wanted to say about that. Do I want to upgrade Seek now? Or. Do I want to just take a card remove and upgrade C Connect 4? Joker Frowns, thanks to the Prime! Appreciate it. I could just take a card remove. Also, it's not always just a card remove. There can be a lot of stuff in this shop with 200 gold. Harmonious Ajax, thanks to the 41 months. There can also not be very much in this shop with uh, 200 gold. No, the boots here. When will my next shit post video be? Oh, I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking about, actually. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you alleging? Doesn't sound like me at all. Thank you, Joker friends. so much energy. And I'm done.
Am I going to do clips and card reviews on TikTok? I feel like I should. There's some weird stuff going on with Twitch where it's like not as clear as it used to be that Twitch is going to be a great thing to be trusting for all of my income a year or two from now. I mean, it was probably never a great idea to have it be what I was trusting for all of my income, but also it's not. I have like a sizable YouTube channel. But what I'm trying to say is uh, I should maybe be diversifying. Why do I say that about Twitch? Well, I don't know if I want to get into it all. TikTok is very bad at getting people to leave TikTok to find you in other places. Yeah, I mean, I get that. I understand. When next turn? you, Adam. Yep, if Amazon stops working for me, I can always go to my Google, uh, Google backed site instead. Very reassuring. Talk won't provide income. I think it can. I think it definitely can. Maybe not in quite as good a way, though. So I'm being attacked for 100, which is bad. Gosh, I could just be dead this turn. Pretty much, right? Fortunately, I have, like, full block for one energy. But <laughs> if I didn't... If I didn't, who am I? Let's hold on to this stuff. That's scary. That doesn't make me feel great about next act. Thamadone, keep the fine bargainings for the year. Just draw better in Act 4. That sounds encouraging. That's good to hear. Yami on things with the 55 months! By letting people earmark their sub money. That way people could be more tempted to sub if they could choose exactly what their money went to. Okay. Hmm. 
I'm glad we've got our best thinkers on this. Back to 65. I didn't double play either of these, I don't think. But I did get them played. It's not the worst fight ever. I got a maw bank. What if reprograms how I win? Probably not. These are Alex. Peace. for the multi-attack already. Kind of rude. It's actually fine to genetic algorithm here if I want. I also just have... No, let's do this. This is Nuvalve. Why are my draws so awful all of a sudden? Thank you. Form and then grab turbo. D track maybe. Sure found all of my good cards. song sad? I don't know. Why is song sad?
with us now. Yes, it's fine. Twenty two times four. The song about Slay the Spire? Yeah, it's about losing to Awakened One. Through phase one, everything will be a lot easier. Holy shit, that applause. That audience is not messing around. like it is about as well as I could have done, given my draw order. I have no relics to maximize or anything, so at this point in the fight, being off the one sometimes isn't a big deal anymore. I just sort of vibe. just need to make sure I double play self-repair. Fifty-seven health left. Young new duck. Yeah, the double self repair is doing the thing I wanted. Losing any more health this fight. Maybe playing this is fine. Seems fine. It 
Ascension 20 being better than Ascension 19 by giving an extra mall bank rock? On the one hand, it's really not very nice to do any deca. On the other hand, you're right. One hundred percent correct. <laughs> they are trying their best, which just makes it even more embarrassing. I'm back to full health. Played my genetic algorithms, didn't double play them. I can't quite afford calipers, yeah. It doesn't matter. I really need calipers. to put on any numbers. We're out of here. This one's for the act for elites, this one's for the heart, probably. Can get rid of another defend that would help a lot. My upgrade is going to be seek. I've been waiting on that one for a while. I have not been drawing seek. Like ever. Uh, secret technique is quite good. That's secret weapon. That's not secret technique. All right. Toolbox is quite good then. Toolbox and Centennial Puzzle are both quite good. I think I'll take Toolbox then. Hologram doesn't really work because all of my good cards, um, Exhauster, are powers. Toolbox seems good though, when Secret Technique works, Master of Strategy works, Panic Button works. There are lots of very, very good hits on it. And I remove, presumably, another Defend. Which is a bit scary, but I do have an Aura Calcum. Please don't kill me. Secret technique. So this is Apotheosis. Now. Secret technique gets... Echo farm genetic elk? I guess I Apotheosis next turn. It looks like I don't have to Essence of Steel anymore, probably.
That's gotta be wrong. <laughs> what I just did has to be wrong. There's no way that there's no way that that is this no. <laughs> like I applaud myself for that choice, but I did not need to double stack that on floor fifty five when it already blocks for a hundred. <laughs> didn't need to do that. That's a two. There's just no way. That's <laughs> just wrong. <laughs> All right. Anyway, this one. I'll cast this so I can draw both burns. And see bottom of Richie. All right. I'll wait a bit and then fix that when you least expect it. to come sometime and see Gremlin Knob clobbering me. I'm sorry. I've been winning a little bit too often for that to happen lately. to keep my darkness potion. Just don't have a relic that goes on a number. Heart of War. Heart of War is not bad. Defrag is very good. Oh, Blizzard. Nah. I wonder if Swift Potion is better than Essence of Darkness. I think it might be. I should have enough damage. Alright, a heart fight. Having a seek in my opening hand seems really good. Big fan of that. Seek is four. Could be apotheosis echo form. Could be echo form genetic elk. Let's see what this card is. I 
I like echo form genetic elk. Is this ever gonna be better than now? I don't really think so. Okay, I don't have to get genetic elk anymore, so now I can get apotheosis echo form. Or buffer. Buffer echo. I want to be able to play my powers though as I draw them. Getting apotheosis seems good. Wait! Let's go two of these. One of these. Drink this. It's actually a mistake. Two of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, full blocks. Play the clumsy. deal damage here. And loot would be a really good one to find. There's one buffer stack, but it's not that big a deal. Is loop the bottom card? Sure it's It's okay to just lose the buffer stack right now. I want to play two of these. Twenty-six, thirty-two. I'm taking fifteen. That's okay, maybe. Still have genetic algorithm. And with loop and play twice, I will start actually having good block. Lots of options. Defend fusion, maybe. I don't think this matters anymore. I am stating doesn't matter anymore for this run. We'll see if I'm right.
mistake very few claws in deck. It's incredible that you can like have this much success in Slay the Spire while clearly playing terribly. Imagine if I'd played well. Okay. 12 in a row. Watcher on tonight. Keeping the wound when I have toolbox. You gotta read what toolbox does. You gotta read what toolbox does. <laughs> 